Hello, this is MZ here, uh, again, playing my witch doctor as always, and as always, I have some legendaries here to reveal that I've been saving up as I have been grinding offline. So let us see what we got here. I think I might have some more uh, Shoreman's Fingers, if that's what it is, right? Shoreman's Finger? Yep, short man's finger. I have. It looks like I might have two more of those. Let's see if I can get a better one. And me. let's first start off by running in the complete wrong direction, as always. So let's see if we have any good goodies from when I was farming. Oh, I even got a tall man's finger. Cool. All right. Uh, don't need that. That's for sure. Ooh, ancient. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to hold off on these here and deal with them later. Uh, another ancient, but not... Don't need an ancient of that. I'll get rid of the uh, ones that I know I can just completely get rid of. And salvage all of these quick and then on to blood shard gambling so all right drop these off real quick Let us gamble some blood Such shards. A brave soul. I believe I am still trying to find some more decent gloves. Do come back again. See you soon. Do come back again. Nope, not the gloves I need. What? I didn't even know I had that thing. Crud. No luck. Oh well. I've got, I've got, I think I got one more chance. One more chance. Am I gonna get lucky? Nope. Sad face. Kadala, why do you do this to me? You always do this to me, girl. You always do this. <sighs> Those are, yes, okay. I really need to clean my stash space out. Keep telling myself I'm going to do that, but it never happens. Alright, let's see if Zoltan Cool will be my man. Um... Where did I put those? There they are. I am still hoarding a lot of these, just the ceremonial knives, because the one I got was not that good. <laughs> so let us see if maybe I can get a better one. Probably not. Very well. Artifact okay, I'm gonna the stop there even though I can have one more chance at that. I want to kind of save some blood shards. Or not blood shards. Death's breaths. Let's get the right gambling material correct. Get the name of the right gambling material. Uh, and I will do both these later. Alright. I think that takes care of the gambling for now. Um, let me do a real quick check here. I do know I need to try to get a socket in these, um, in the short man's finger. I'm just trying to determine which one is better. This one looks like it's probably going to be better. Alright. Let's see if I can convince Miriam to give me a socket. Da, da, da. All right. So if 
vitality, yeah, resistance, I guess. Might as well. I mean, it's not that good of a roll. I really need one with two crit. With the crit hit and that sort of thing, but... Come on, give me a socket, please. Pretty please. Okay, making sure it wasn't being... Come on. Socket, please. Thank you! Alright, now I can use this bad boy. So, off with convection of elements and on with the short man's finger. Away. And now we can start grifting. So, I think last time I let off, left off, I was doing 50. Uh, and I'm currently just trying to level my gems up. So, we might try to push a little bit and see where we go, but... Eh, we'll see. Let's get going. Get the show oh, on the road. Aha! Uh -huh. So I actually got some comments on the YouTube versions of my videos of basically I have been running this uh, build wrong this entire time. And that's partially due to the fact that I don't know what I'm doing and I was given some tips on things I should be doing. Which was mainly trying to hang back and having my gargantuan spawn in and using, respawning my gargantuan in the middle of the pack. Which in this case I now have a bunch of mini gargantuans. Because why not? The other suggestion I got was I need to be making sure to get... Um... Area damage. Um... On as much of my gear as possible. Due to that will make the gargantuan stronger. So I'm going to try to take those tips in. I got from YouTube to heart because, again, I don't. I, this is my first time running this build. And I am a complete noob to this build. Um, the Butch Doctor builds that I have done in the past have been typically your standard pet builds, and I've never really done any, like, more hardcore builds. So we shall see. For all I know is that the person was actually a troll and actually I'm gonna die more easily and it will make for a much more hilarious videos because I'm dying all of the time. I was gonna say purple dwarf thingy. Yeah, going the wrong way as for always. And getting nearly half of it. And so far it seems like this might be doing a little bit better actually paying attention to people who play this build more. That have had more experience playing this build than I have.
zombie, the wall of death, necessarily on the mobs themselves, but I guess just out of habit, I keep throwing it down. Anyway? My spirit grows vast. Anything like me, but it's kind of it's kind of nice to have a little group of them. Of course, another dead end. Of course, I run all the way into it instead of going. Oh, it's a dead end. I should probably turn around. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see we know who you are. All right, let's level them gems. I really think the Enforcer gem is going to be my most important gem uh, to get max or at least to 25 as quickly, just due to that pet bonus. Uh, well. Just do the pet, <laughs> the damage. I keep thinking, eh, well, the damage bonus is probably the most important. I guess the less damage thing is not that important. Eh, I'll eventually get him to 25 one way or another. All right, since I'm doing 50 okay, I guess I might as well try bumping it up a little bit. Or I should maybe focus on trying to get my gems leveled. But, you know, let's, let's see how... Uh, bad this can be as I shut the chat off so we don't have a gazillion spam bots going or people saying things that I really don't care about. All right, that that can go. So can that. That too. Oh, whatevs. I swear I will clean out my stash space. Eventually. It's just not the fun part of Diablo. Cleaning stash management stuff. Alright. 
Alright, Katala, what you gonna give me? That will look nice on you. I cannot afford that. Yep. Not a Oh well. Odd word. Here you go. After I spend all of the paragon points. Alright, so I'm currently at let's see, seven, thirteen, thirteen. Oh, I can only go up to 52. Oops. Didn't mean to hit that button. Well, I guess I could try 52 and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? I die. Whoa. Not that big of a deal. Gangway coming through. Doctor in the house. The drivability problem. <laughs> I just realized my dog, one of my dogs, is dead already. Oh dear. Well, hopefully, this doesn't turn into I am spamming my dog to come back up. But it looks like I'll be able to complete this rift as long as I don't run into like a pack that kills me over and over again six times. Because uh, the RNG just, you know, takes me. You know, like this one right here. Come on, doggies. Oh, I didn't even realize there was more than one unique pack in there. Excuse me, pardon me. Hang away. A perfect strike. Okay, where does she Ooh, kind of it. Zap, 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 Oh, uh, zap the sun's over. Yeah, 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 because I'm being an idiot. Ah, that's a 
Up oh, there he is. Hello! Not there for a second, I would have to go hunting all over the map for you. Cold snap, I really don't appreciate being the frozen. I will just stand right over here. Or not. And Paragon 296. It's almost a 300. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we can do. Yes, let's see what we can do. So many things I need to get to 25. I need to go back. All right, so new record. 52 at, with 6 minutes and 44 seconds to spare. You're and <laughs> I've just gained quite a few Paragon levels. Alright, so I'm just, I'm almost to 300 already. Well, I'll be damned. Let's see what happens, shall we? Yes, let's what? see what happens. I, didn't even know I, had I cannot that afford thing. that. Yep. Boo. All right. I just don't feel like dealing with it right now. All righty. 52. We managed to do 52. So the next one up is 54. Hmm. Let's see. My blood shark cap is at one at ten twenty. More blood shards means more blood shard gambling time at the beginning of the episode. But it also means that I might not finish and I have to not do an empowered rift. Which means I don't level my gems as quick. Oh, what the hell? Let's do 54. Are you strong enough to survive the trials? Sure, maybe. We'll just find out. I'm away. Anyway. Pardon me. Like 
floor is not going to be a problem. That unique pack just went down like... Well, really easily. And that one just did too. Well, I really, really appreciate the person who left comments on my YouTube videos telling me how to run this build. And Paragon 300! Whoop whoop! The spirits aid me! And as I was saying, I really appreciate it when people come help me out and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing because I a lot of times don't know how to run builds correctly because that's why I rely on other people to make builds. I can't make them. And this is going so much better now. I can't tell whether it's just you, the short man, finger, or if it's actually listening to those comments on my YouTube videos on how to run this build correctly. But it's working pretty very, very, it's working very well. Because I'm lagging. Great. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna run around circles because lag. Woohoo! This is my no! I've been disconnected. Crud! Please log back in. Well, bugger. <laughs> Well, I have to exit out of this and restart it back up again. Please pardon the black screen as I wait for the play button to show back up. Oh man, did my internet actually completely go out? No, I don't think so. Well, we'll see. Yep, I think Battle.net is completely toast. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode now since it appears I don't get to have any fun. This is Bad Cat Z signing off <laughs> unwillingly.